Hi kids! Today I will be your science teacher. I am teacher Tess. So are you ready? If you are ready, let's start. And these are the most essential learning competencies. Describe different objects based on their characteristics. Classify objects and materials as solid, liquid, and gas based on some observable characteristics. Take a look around you. What do you see in the picture? All the things you see even the wind you feel with your skin are made of matter. What is matter? Matter is anything and everything that takes up space and has mass. We all know the things around us take up space. Properties of matter Weight, mass, and volume are properties that are common to all matter. Weight refers to the pull of gravity of an object. An object's weight on Earth is different from its weight in space. An object weights more on Earth than in space. The unit of weight is Newton. Mass refers to the amount of matter of an object. The mass of an object is the same everywhere. Mass is commonly expressed in mj for milligram, g for gram, or kg for kilogram. Kilogram is a bigger unit than gram. A gram is a bigger unit than a milligram. The mass of heavy objects like a sack of rice, sugar, cement, and corn is usually expressed in kilograms. The mass of some food products like noodles, pasta, and canned goods is given in grams. The mass of medicine capsules or tablets is given in milligrams. These are the tools to measure the mass of an object. Weighing scale, platform balance, hanging scale. We usually find these balances in grocery stores, wet markets, clinics, hospitals, and commercial establishments. Another property common to all matter is volume. Volume is the space occupied by matter. These are some of the tools that are used to measure the volume of liquids. Medicine dropper, graduated cylinder, beaker. How will you find the volume of a solid? You can determine the volume of a regularly shaped object by measuring its sides using a ruler. For example, the volume of a rectangular object can be determined by measuring its length, width, and height. Okay class, if you learned something today, let us check your understanding on mass and volume by answering our activity. Direction. Identify the appropriate unit of mass or volume for each object. Number 1. Bottle of oil. If your answer is liter, very good, your answer is correct. Next, number 2. Canned goods. If your answer is Grams. Very good. Your answer is correct. Next, number three, 
best bottle of cologne? If your answer is milliliter, very good, your answer is correct. Next, number four, gasoline in a tank. If your answer is liter, very good, your answer is correct. The last number is medicine capsules. If your answer is milligrams, very good, your answer is correct. Let's proceed to our next topic, which is the states of matter. Matter comes in different states. They can be solid, liquid, and gas. A solid is matter that has a definite shape, size, and volume. A solid has its own shape and stays in one place unless it is moved. Even if you put it in one container then transfer it to another, a solid will not change its shape. The shape and volume of a solid, such as marbles, are definite. The shape and volume of a solid do not change no matter where you place them. Some solids are hard while others are soft. Hardness is the ability of solids to resist scratching or breaking. Some solids such as metals have unique properties. Gold and silver jewelries have different shapes. Jewelers can form beautiful shapes from these metals because they are malleable. Malleability is the ability of metals to be shaped into different figures or forms. Electrical wires are made of copper. Copper has many forms and can be formed into stripes, shavings, or wires. This property of copper is called ductility. Brittleness is the property that makes solids break easily. Like solids, liquids have properties too. Let us study the different properties of liquid. Liquids have definite volume but no definite shape. We take the shape of their containers. Liquids have the ability to flow. Water flows as you pour it from one container to another. The ability of liquids to flow is known as fluidity. You have learned that air is a gas. Smoke from cars, tricycles, and factories are examples of gas too. Let us find out some properties of gas. Gases have no definite volume and no definite shape. They flow easily. The gas that you are familiar with is air. Do you know that air is composed of many gases, such as nitrogen and oxygen? It also contains carbon dioxide, water vapor, helium, neon, and other gases. Air is generally colorless, tasteless, and odorless. Now, let's proceed to our next activity. Direction. Identify each picture if it is solid, liquid, or gas. Number 1. Apple. If your answer is solid, very good. Your answer is correct. Next, number 2. 
vinegar? If your answer is liquid, very good. Your answer is correct. Next number three, smoke from car. If your answer is gas, very good. Your answer is correct. Next number four, coffee. If your answer is liquid, very good. Your answer is correct. And the last number is paper. If your answer is solid, very good. Your answer is correct.